A new poll of city voters shows the proposal is unpopular with the public. 66% of those asked oppose the deal. 20% support it. Well, this is a city-owned building that is an anchor for downtown Phoenix. It attracts people here. City manager Ed Zerker defends the proposal where the city kicks in $185 million and the Suns cough up another $80 million. And Zerker says the arena generates $14 million in sales tax revenue that can be used on other projects. But it's more than just the Suns. It's concerts, it's family shows, it's Cirque du Soleil or Disney on Ice. All those things go on in that building that are more than just sports. Oh, I know on the stadium vote, I am. Over the years, Councilman Jim Waring has voiced his opposition to the project, saying the city has other needs, like paying for more police officers and firefighters. I just think there's other things that the city could do with the money that, that might be, have it be better spent. The timing of this week's vote is key, as this happens several months before Phoenix picks a new mayor. And the leading candidate, Kate Gallego, has said she strongly opposes this deal. I used to share sun season tickets with my friends. I'm a fan. I hope they'll continue to be in downtown Phoenix and thrive. But professional sports are among the most profitable enterprises out there, and they should pay for their own facilities. And as of right now, the key number for the Phoenix Suns is four. If four members of the council vote against this proposal, this proposal is dead. I have talked to Councilman uh, Sal DeSissi as well as Councilman Jim Waring. Both have said they are opposed to this deal. Remains to be seen what the rest of the council will do. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family.